I'm so excited about this video. No, I really am excited to show you this because here in front of me is the Sound Devices Mix Pre 6 Mark II and it is for me the first time ever using a sound devices and if you have no idea who we are and this is the first time discovering our channel we are Libby and Marcel and we are the creators behind Freeview Sounds. So what we're doing is we travel around the world full time and we're making a living with these recordings with ambience we create sound libraries and for this we need equipment so all the equipment that you see here on our channel is the equipment that we're using on a day-to-day -day basis i also want to say thank you to b and h for loaning us the mix pre6 because i wasn't really sure should i buy it or should i not and after this video i will let you know if i send it back or keep it so without further ado let's get right into the video Welcome, good morning to the amphitheater. We're gonna record some ambience here, but there might be some noises that I wish there wouldn't be, like the cleaner. But yeah, that's a human factor, right? And it's ambience, so why not? <laughs> mm, getting some fitness sound effects. People walking, chatting footsteps by the way you can actually hear me right great this is the road wireless 2 so the distance is interesting it's fantastic so coming to a place like this is always a gamble you either come really early in the morning to record the ambience because now what we have is their people so the human factor right and what they're doing is mostly they have a music and I can already hear somebody has a radio a radio it's funny <laughs> playing music then what we also have in the distance a cleaning the stairs with water so these are all things that you have to reconsider if you record sounds that you might have to come back we just have to hope that nobody else is there and plays music but well, you know we're not here to record the ambience particularly I do this when I'm alone but what we want is we want to listen to the sound of the recorder with the Sennheiser in this RTF set. Just listen how beautiful the morning ambience at the amphitheater in Denver is. So we already came here a couple of days ago and recorded sounds and then when I was at home I realized that my recordings aren't the way that I thought they should be. So I had the stereo recording on four channels and the mono recording on three channels. And how you can fix it is very easy. So we made a quick short about this and you can check it out right there. Now if you listen through the Sennheiser and also through the sound device and you just boost the audio a little bit, it, it sounds actually very intense and busy. You know, we have the street cleaner, we have airplanes, we have the people. And if I close my eyes, I, at one point I thought I'm in an industrial harbor, but no, I'm not. I'm here at the amphitheater. So that's what, what a recorder and microphones can do. It can just make the whole experience way more intense. So now. Let's see what else we can find. So let's do something different because field recording is not just about ambience. We are here at this creek. Yes, we can record the ambience, but I want to put the hydrophone in the water and see how this sounds like through the sound devices. Let's do it. 
first we have to set up the ambient and this one is a little different. I'm going to make another dedicated video about this hydrophone, but not in the US. Hopefully more when we are near a harbor. Oh, look, this looks already really dangerous right here in this box. And to connect the hydrophone with the cable, we need a wrench. So make sure if you have the ambient ASF1 that you that you are really careful because you don't want to you don't want to destroy this part because then it's over so you have to be very careful also you see there's a slip here so you have to make sure that you have this slip put this right in here okay this is set and there it is it's a big cable thick See, it's a completely different cable than the ASF2, but in the sound quality, is, it's just another level. It's, it's so clear, crystal clear. And most people using this also for research, so not just for field recording, recording creeks. Now people actually record whales with these microphones and dolphins. And then you can also have a 100 meter cable, just like the dolphin ears, but has a 100 meter cable. Disarm this, and we arm this later when we're in the water. Yo, this is working. This hydrophone requires phantom power. Now let's go into the creek. So this is a great spot because we have this rock here, and the water goes by, so it creates a very interesting sound. So let's listen to the hydrophone. my footsteps Create all these different layers here. Wow! Blah, 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 blah. And imagine you pitch this down. Mm. A little bit of reverb. Oh, I think we got enough underwater sounds. Ah, uh, but I love that. That's one of my favorite things to do. Ah, oh, so amazing! It sounds beautiful. And we made it out of Brighton here in front of me. This is where the freight train line is. So I'm waiting for it. And then we're listening to the sound through the Audio Technica 425. What is still one of my favorite stereo microphones, but I will also use the Rode NTG5 inside the Rykod Superblim. And this is the one that I had first when it comes to wind protection back in 2017, when I started with sound recording. So now let's wait for the train and hope it sounds great. And you see what I can do here with the Rykod quick connector. If I want, I can just, you know, switch between this and that. It's awesome. So quick. I really love that one. But for this, we record with the Audio Technica. And then with the hand, I move and I go with the train. So I'm really excited to see how that sounds like, especially if I'm not just stationary, so that when the train comes, that I go with them. Also, if you're wondering, I'm not using the pistol grip anymore with the 
Audio Technica? No, this is actually from the Rode NTG5 and it fits perfectly. It's a little more snug, so you can tell that it's not gonna fall off. Because with the pistol grip, when the wind blows, it just, you know, it moved around too much. So it's, it's not ideal. So this is way better. But it's also better than the one from Audio Technica because the one from Audio Technica is just not snug enough. So when I moved around, it fall off. That's why this is a little tighter and it can't fall off, so it's great. While we're waiting for the train, I'm sure you already noticed, I use a different strap. I don't use the one that comes with Orca. I use the Peak Design one because I feel like that's more me. I like this one more. But I also have to say that I'm more a fan of having bags around my waist and not over the shoulder. So I'm not sure if you can actually change it, but I do order the K-Tag bag just to have a difference. And then I'm probably make a video about the difference between both bags and which one I like more. But until then, we just wait here for the train. It's been already half an hour, but I know we can do this. Just listening to the ambience, there's something we can do, right? We can already start listening just to the ambience because there's the highway in the background and there's a beeping coming from the Walmart. That's great. And just thinking about that over there is the railway crossing, but how clean it sounds like. Beautiful. And to be honest, what do you want more, right? There's a beautiful microphone, the Audio Technica, and if you're looking for a good mono microphone, the NTG5 sounds great. But but I do heard that a lot of people have problems with the with the interference. I did not run into these problems yet, but maybe I I won't because I use this microphone very much different than you might use it. Now let's hope the train is coming. Oh, train is coming. We waited two hours for this. <gasps> and of course, 32 bit. So there's no worry about clipping. Normally I wouldn't actually use the headphones because it's getting very loud through the headphones. All right, we got this sound. Now let's see what else we can find. And we are back in Denver. Here behind me is the i25. And what we're doing is we don't want to record the soundscape, the ambience. We want to record the vibration of this bridge here. So let's do it. I'm going to put the geophone right here. Now, everybody who does not know what the Geophone is, I highly recommend you checking out our Geophone real-world test video that we did in Iceland. But for everybody who knows it, there it is. It's always very hard to get because it's always sold out very quick. But if you're interested, there is a link in the description down below. But now, let's record the vibration of the bridge.
Yeah, that's what I love. And you know, because of the wind, the traffic, the people walking by, the bridge is just moving back and forth. And we can record these vibrations with the low geophone. And this is what you can do. You can reach sound designers, you can reach music producers that want to use something different than just ambience. And with these recording devices, you can do it. And then we have 32 bit here in the Bixby 6. So if there are any kind of distortions, you just lower it later in post and we're fine. And we just made it outside of Boulder. We came across this field of cows. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can find something between all these flies and airplanes. It's like nice cow sound and cicadas and birds. Let's do this. Getting attacked. All these flies. So this is take is for Libby and the video. Now let's just listen. Now, if you're wondering, these are the Sennheiser MKH 8040. They're extremely sensitive microphones. Uh, I intentionally don't want to use a wind protection because I just want to see how it sounds like without having too much wind protection. I can hear a little bit, or oh, this is easy to clean up, but I want to keep it in the recording so that, it, that you get an idea how much is the difference between having it on it or not. If you want to listen to the sound, how it sounds like with the wind protection, feel free to check out our video that we did in Iceland about the Sinella Albert, because everybody talks about preamps and comparing with the Zoom F6. Um, there's not so much of a difference when I hear it, but I do believe that if I do this, like, I have just way more, I feel like more headroom. I, I can just raise. Wow, this is insane. With the mix free, I, it sounds great. I don't have the F6 with me. I want to do a dedicated video about it later on. Uh, then we can really listen to the difference when I'm on the spot and then we're just changing the microphones. But this will be a different video, so feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and you're interested in this kind of content. But right now, when I listen to the mix pre with the Sennheiser, of course, it's in the ORTF, it just sounds fantastic. And with that said, stereo, mix pre, Sennheiser, this is a, this is a top set and it, it just sounds amazing. And just getting, let me do this one more time. I just can't get over it. It's amazing. So I'm probably going to mention this several times and I just call it boost. I, I feel like I can boost the audio way more on the mix pre than on the Zoom F6. Now, there are cyclists coming, and that's also what we're gonna record really quick. Oh, it's a little too much. The cyclist sounds. Cyclists pass by. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. And now if you're wondering, do I keep the recorder or do I send it back to B&H? And the answer is, I will keep it. But why I keep it, this is for a different video. But I do have to say that 
when I say keep it, this is not a sponsored video. So I will pay for the sound devices. And if you're interested in what I think about the recorder, the pros and the cons and the difference between the Zoom F6, maybe you should give me a little bit more time so that I can get really used to the recorder and then I will release this video in the near future. So feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. And until then, thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in our next video very soon.